Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create some really awesome blaster effects and turn your photos into something like this to something like this. And if you don't want to make an actual thing in Photoshop, don't worry, I have a free downloadable link below of a bunch of different blaster effects that I created that you could use for free in your photos. Okay, so for the first part of this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how I'll actually create the blaster effects from scratch in Adobe Photoshop. All of the steps I'm using can also be done in GIMP. So if you don't want to use Photoshop, if you just use GIMP, you can use this tutorial for that. The second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to just download these free uh, blaster effect files that I already have listed in the description of the video. You can just download for free. It's a Google Drive link uh, and you can just use those on your own photos and I'll show you how to add those in and change the colors or whatever you want. So to create the blaster effects, it's uh, we're just going to be drawing a lot of white lines and editing them later. And so it's really important to have a vanishing point when you're making these. If you remember back in art class learning about perspective and vanishing points, stuff like that, as long as you have something in, in mind, like a vanishing point, you'll be able to have all of these blaster effects really look cohesive, like they're coming from one specific direction going to another direction. So they look a little bit more realistic. So first, let's start a new layer. So to do that, you can just do control shift N. There we go. Let's just do blaster. Okay. So for my vanishing point, see this one little piece of bokeh over here in the corner. That's just going to be my vanishing point. So what the heck is the vanishing point? That means every single line that I draw, I want to have it. So the end of that line is going towards that direction. So everything's going to be going towards the vanishing point. That's where the perspective is. So I'm going to be using that as my vanishing point. So every time I create one little blaster effect, it's going to be going towards this little piece of bokeh over here. Okay, so first thing is I'm just going to draw a square box like this. This is the beginning of our first blaster effect. And I'm going to color it in white by using my paint bucket tool. And there we go. That's our, the beginning of our first blaster. This doesn't really look much like a blaster, it just looks like a square, but let's go and adjust the, the distortion and the perspective of it. So while we're on this blaster layer, we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Distort. So Distort gives us the ability to move every one of these corners around however we want it, just like this, and it's actually pretty cool. So it, we can use this to aim it towards the vanishing point, and we can use it to make it a little bit more blaster-like. You know, like that. So I'm going to take these corners. I'm going to make sure they're being pointed towards the vanishing point up there. Right towards the vanishing point. Perfect. Uh, and there's one blaster right there. We're already getting started. So let's do another one. So we're just going to keep duplicating this layer and just keep putting it in different places. So to duplicate the layer, just do Control J on your keyboard. Now we've got two of those. So let's move this one um, over here. So this one's coming down here. So let's move the distortion a little bit towards the vanishing point. Edit, transform, distort. And let's move this facing upwards a little bit to the point where it's facing vanishing point. There we go. There's another blaster right there. We're doing great. And we're going to repeat this process until we've got a bunch of them. So. Let's do this one. Let's make this one a little bit smaller and further back, like towards behind the trooper. So let's do one where it's kind of like behind his leg. So it looks like there's some behind him too. So we're going to do Control J. And we're going to move this one around like right here, like behind his leg. So this is going to give us a little bit of depth. So it looks like there's some blasters behind the trooper. So now I'm just going to zoom in. So if I actually hold alt and scroll, I can zoom in on it. And I'm just going to use my eraser tool and erase some of it to make it look like it's behind. So to help me with that, I'm going to take the layer that I have right here and lower my opacity a little bit so I can see behind the blaster a little bit. And I'm just going to erase. And so now we have one that's going behind his leg. So 
So we're pretty much done of actually putting the actual pieces in there. So now what we're gonna do is take all of these, these blaster layers and we're gonna merge them all into one. This little button up here, merge layers. And there we go. Now we have one big layer of blasters. You can position these blasters however you want. You know, if you're doing a photo where the trooper's kind of like shooting instead and you want to position them that way and you can do different color blasters, stuff like that, that's totally your call. We're going to now duplicate this layer. Uh, I'm going to duplicate it uh, a couple times. So we got one, two, one, two. We're actually going to do four different layers here. I think that might look a little bit better. We're going to do something pretty similar to what we would do with the lightsaber effects, but a little bit different. So to the first layer here, we're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to do it to something like uh, maybe like 30. So you can probably already tell we're getting a little bit of glow here. So to this next layer, we're going to go to filter, blur, and then we're going to go to motion blur. We're gonna give it a little bit of motion blur. And so see this little circle, circle right here? You wanna make sure this circle is kind of going towards the same perspective as the blasters are going towards the vanishing point, you know? So then they look like they're in motion. I would put this one, let's do this one about 200. That looks pretty good. So for this third one here, blur, I'm gonna go back to motion blur. And let's do this at about like 70 or so. And so for the last one, we're gonna go actually go back to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and do like, let's do 60. There, I think that looks pretty good. And we haven't even added any color yet and it looks pretty great. It looks pretty, pretty dang cool. So in order to add color to this, we have to add a black background to all of these, um, these white layers because that black background is going to give us just a basis to adjust some curves to make them add color so we're just going to do Control shift n make a new layer right there and we're going to make this layer totally black so the way i'm going to do that is just hide my background and then use paint bucket tool there we go now it's black so now we have this one we're going to combine all the layers so the black including all of the other blaster ones and we're gonna go right click merge layers okay and so now the last step with this is change this layer to screen so that black is there but it's like not being seen now let's add some color let's add some color here i'm gonna make these red i think red will work pretty well same thing as the lightsaber effect if you saw my other videos but image adjustments curves and we're going to change the channel here to red and we're just going to mess with this until we get color that we that we like so and so even if you wanted to make it even more red you can go to image adjustments and then go to color balance crank that red up even more and you could change it to blue or purple or actually the purple looks pretty cool and so that's how you create blaster effects it's it's really that that easy Okay, so in the description of the video, I have a, a Google Drive link to a bunch of um, blaster effects that I created that you can download and put into your own photos. And it's actually the same blaster effects I literally just made here just now, and I saved them all. So you can bring them in yourself to any of your own photos. So first I'll show you how to bring them in on Photoshop. I'll do a quick one on GIMP too. But here's the blaster effect right here. You just take it, you can Control A, Control C, copy it, and Control V, paste it. And so it's going to show up all black just like before so go to change your layer type and go to normal go to screen and there it is and then you can move it around put it however you would like it to let's grab this one control a control c control v and we're going to go to screen move it however you want so if you want to change the color of it just go to image adjustments and there's a lot of ways you can do this. you just go to hue and saturation and change the hue make it blue actually these look cool in really any color so there you go just change the color however you want it and if you still would like to change the perspective of it you can do it the exact same way i was doing it before so just go to edit transform you can go to rotate if you want to rotate it if you want to distort it you can do it the same way I was doing it, moving around, you know, however you would like it to. It's yours to use 
however you want it. Okay, so to add these blaster effects into GIMP and adjust them that way, it's pretty much the same exact thing. So here's the image, and I have all the blaster effects open too. So let's say we want to put this one in here. We're going to go Control A and Control C to copy the whole thing. And we're going to go Control V, and there it is. So whenever you put in a new layer in GIMP, you have to make sure you change it to uh, just a normal new layer. You're just going to right click on it and do to new layer. And now it's just a normal pasted layer. And so right here, the mode is on normal. We're going to change that to screen just like before. And there it is. So we can move that wherever we want it. And so this tool right here is like the rotate tool. So you click on there. And if you need to um, rotate it at all, you can just move it around. Make it towards the vanishing point. And there you go. Click on rotate and it's all done. So for the most part, it is all the same kind of thing with GIMP. And also with GIMP, I have a whole tutorial on how to use it. Uh, it's a great alternative if you don't want to pay for Photoshop. I have it right, uh, this whole video on how to do it linked in the, in the description. It's right here if you want to use that. Um, and that's, um, that's pretty much it. And for all your other editing tips with toy photography and stuff like that, I have a whole entire editing playlist full of all different editing tips that can be super helpful. And if you do use any of these blaster effects, please tag me in your photos. I would love to see it. You don't have to. It's a totally free thing, but I would love to see your photos. So please tag me in them. And uh, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.